Hi, right, it's Pete in North Georgia. We are it's pepper planting day, Easter. Happy Mer Happy Easter. Uh, it's about 12 noon and about 70 degrees out, so it's perfect kind of weather for it. But uh, so we've got a ton of different kind of peppers. We're going to be planting about 32 of them in this bed. Kind of, you look behind here, you can kind of see it back here. So uh, let's get to it. So what do we got that we're planting today? We've got. Oh, a pretty good assortment of peppers. Some of our favorites are our big gypsy pepper right here. It's kind of, I just watered them so they're kind of fell over a little bit, but uh, really nice. They're already covered with buds. And then we've got some, uh, what do we got over there? Some bell peppers, and we've got some from Europe, some black bell peppers. Those are pretty big over there. I think they're called Chorney Con. Then we got a bunch of mild jalapenos we're putting in. And then down here are Yolo Bells. Not quite as big, but they, they really produce. Thai dragons right here Thai dragons uh, they had the cluster look like a hand of peppers down there then we've got our other Japanese ones that we like that, that are our favorites like the shishito and then we've got the new ones here the fashita or fashimi rather fashimi peppers um, a little bit different pepper but uh, still long cow horn shaped and then we've also got some hatch peppers down here which are from New Mexico New Mexico hatch and then we've got also I believe these are our big Jim hatch peppers right here as well um, you know they're famous for being the world record holder for the big pepper but they make chili rellenos out of them um, we're looking forward to it uh, hopefully they do well down in Georgia here they should do I mean we have a perfect pepper growing area and this is just some squash going in the ground later um, so over here you know is our garden this is where we're putting them in we've already prepped up our soil right here and then we covered it with black plastic and I've marked it out with a white indelible marker just kind of one foot squares and these are what we do we'll just cut these open put our plants in and then generally we run them four at a time up through here um, and you know the spacing seems to work for us here I mean it might not elsewhere but it does here and then we'll uh, cover it with a cypress mulch um, as we come in you know our gardening back here it's about 70 degrees it's kind of got to move this clematis out of the way um, just taking over the thermometer and a cat up here but a uh, really nice plant and then we'll take a look at this uh, which is like I said we've got it laid out one foot six inches in for the side and then one foot squares after that we'll get about 32 plants in here do real well right here um, and on top of that we also got some other ones over here which are we've, we've been growing them all winter with a lot of a lot of, of uh, vetch and things around them but uh, they're still growing fine we just need to get in here and weed them a little bit but here is our um, fava or broad beans that we're growing it looks like they're all flowering so this might be a pretty good crop we've never had a good crop on these before but as you can see Know, kind of black with a white flower, really nice flower. All right, well we've started, we started uh, planting some of our peppers into the black plastic here. Uh, here's some Corneo de Toros or Italian bullhorn. And we got the big gems, and we got some hatch right here, and getting ready to put in some uh, Chorney Con, which are some type of a, a black bell pepper from uh, somewhere in Russia. And then we've got some other slots already cut out. Uh, once we get them in the ground, we're going to be covering this with some uh, cypress mulch. And then uh, until then, we've gone ahead and put in, we're going to put a, a, some shade cloth over this for a few days. And, and we do that because so we've got these, already got these um, uh, holders that we've used over the winter. And this was a winter bed. And just these pieces, of, these plastic pieces of hose right here. And they just basically go in like that. You can see we already got a couple in, and then we've got the Agribond shade cloth that goes over the top of that, like so. And it's not cooperating <laughs> real well here, but uh, yeah, it's just similar, it's sort of like this. So that when we're done, you know, it'll provide shade to the plants, but also get plenty of sun, and then if it rains, it'll get plenty of water too as well. We just use these while they're getting acclimatized for the. Uh, to the weather but we still got one two three four more rows of peppers to go and then uh, we'll be laying down the mulch and we'll get a final picture of the whole thing when we get done all right well we've finished our planting of all our peppers we have 32 we've got uh, 
about uh, eight different varieties and we still have more to go but this is this bed right here so we've kind of you know we put the black plastic down cut the slots we plant them in here so let's kind of go down the list of what we got here we've got these shishitos which are a japanese pepper then the fushimi which are also japanese pepper a little bit bigger uh, we got some mild jalapenos we like them for stuffing and we got some yolo wonder bell peppers here and then black these black bell peppers they're called chorny con and they're from uh, the ukraine i think they are if i'm not mistaken but they look nice real big um then we got the hatch peppers from new mexico somebody uh somebody recommended them to me said they were great we're gonna try them out and then we got some big gems you know renowned is the biggest world record holder for the biggest pepper i don't know if we'll get them or not but we're gonna shoot for it and then we got the cdt's which are our corneo de toros um, that usually have the biggest we might have some not only the corneo de toros also might be a, a one of those might be a cuban l too not really sure but uh, it's kind of hard to tell at this point but uh, give them a little bath with some mist and now as you see we've got this row cover that we put up here um and it's 80 degrees out right now heavy sun so what we want to do is we want to give them a few days under the row cover uh, this agrabond that we have and uh, you know it's supposed to rain tomorrow and tuesday hopefully so you know that'll be nice for them the rain goes right through this but so we're just going to go ahead and put these to bed this is pete in Ackworth, georgia signing off <laughs>